beauty to me is about being in harmony. Beauty to me is a value that connects us all. Sometimes you find beauty in the most unexpected ways. Oh, my father is a truly, truly unique man. I think we all say that, but he is a really special man. I don't think I've ever met anyone in my life that has really touched other people in ways that he has. His humility, his passion, his drive to really do things differently, to make a change in people that he works with. I always found beauty wherever I go, to whom I meet, and anything which I see. When I started this business, there were so many viewers in my home. So all my neighbors, my parents, my family, they told me that those are the untouchable people and don't allow them in the home. And at the time, I realized how a man may be the upper caste or a lower caste. A man should be judged by his own deeds, by his own work. I can see the difference. And then my love with, those, with the viewers started. And now you can see how this love has gone in so many hundred and thousand of villages. For my father, I think it really was all about breaking the tradition. I knew he had gotten a job as a banker in the city, which he couldn't see himself working through all day long as a teller in the bank. One of his friends said, rug manufacturing is a really up and coming industry. Have you thought about it? He said, why not? Let me give it a shot. And that's sort of how he got into it. But I think once he started the business, very soon he realized that he really had the passion for art, he had the passion for people, and he saw a lot of opportunities to make things better and uh, sort of became his destiny. I realized as I travel around the world that I'm just a very, very curious person. And I'm just curious to know what design means for somebody else in other part of the world, or what design means to the villager. As a child, I was always brought up going to the villages with my father. So that was always the most fun experience. And I would always see that they were very, very creative people, very creative. I think beauty is something that nature has already defined. All the contrast, or the brightness, and all the layers. When we allow our intuition to guide us, it usually results in something more beautiful versus when we force ourselves to make something very interesting or different. What Jaipur Rugs represents in terms of design is a very natural aesthetic, a very simple and organic aesthetic. When we curate a collection, we start with many different ideas or directions of words, like our new collection is going to be like, the new word is non-literal. And then everybody in the team starts to make the artworks based upon the theme. So then the words hold the entire collection together. Once you have sort of a design aesthetic in mind, you have to figure out a color palette. We have a bank of 3,000 colors for our rugs that we work from, and then within a rug it could be anywhere between 4 to 12 colors. To me, rugs play a really important role. It's the soul of the room, because a room without a rug feels sort of empty, there's something missing and either it can bring something to life or it could be just so grounding and peaceful that it just connects everything that surrounds it. We have about 40,000 people who work for the company across India, including weavers, spinners, the finishing artisans and we sell our product to over 45 countries directly and indirectly it's sold to over 60 countries. 
there's a lot of effort that goes into making the rugs. If you look at a hand knotted rug, it takes about four weavers' lives, about six, seven months just to weave that rug. The beauty is um, that it's probably adding up one knot at a time, one weaver, one, one artisan, one spinner. A really beautiful, good quality handmade rug could have almost a million knots by the time it's done and you're tying each knot one by one. It's a very large number of artisans that are involved in the process. They're really made with love and passion and they have the stories of these amazing artisans woven into them because they stay with these artists for so long. And we realize the way that the Jaipur rug system is we have actually a whole group of very, very happy weavers. And, and happy weavers, we feel they instill the blessings into the rugs. We have many end customers once in a while who are interested in buying the rug. And when we tell them the story of the village and the weaver who had woven the rug, they get so enchanted. If they have the time, they make the time to visit these villages. And the experience they have, they come back and say it was one of the best experiences of their life. My father's been the role model for me. Since my childhood, I wanted to do something where there's a lot of people involved and something where there's a lot of happy people around. There's a whole community of happy people around. And obviously, it was not just about buying or selling something or you know making something, but it was about a community and a way of life which brings happiness to everybody who's involved in it. He's been the key factor in the core philosophy of the business. Most people's business is about making profit, selling to the customer, and just that thinking alone is a very big difference. The way we see things, the way we function, it's all about our people and how to make them happy and how to make their life better. The company is really a means to create harmony with all that it works with. So whether it's the weavers or the customers or the employees of the company, so it's really the human thread that I see is what we are here to maintain and engage in and make things better. I think it's about doing something meaningful in life is I think the key. It's just sort of knowing what you want to do in life and being happy with what you have. Jaipur is about connections. It's connecting the artisan who makes these beautiful products to the people who use these beautiful products in beautiful homes. And it's the special love, the care, the treatment that really goes in between that makes us different.